nursing students the next time you see insulin questions you're not gonna panic why because you're gonna ace it so stay with me and share this video to your nursing bestie let's go insulin is used in type 1 and type 2 diabetes with keynotes type 1 is always insulin dependent while type 2 there could be some um, lifestyle modification before insulin right so there are key terms you need to know about insulin you need to know the onset the peak time and the duration these are always endless tested now what is the onset the onset is when the insulin starts working when it starts kicking in to lower that blood glucose that is your onset right and the peak time remember peak equals plate the peak time is when insulin work the strongest that is it is the time insulin put all hands on deck to lower that blood glucose and this is when your patients are always at risk of hypoglycemia and that's why peak equal plates they have to eat okay and duration is how long insulin stays in the body good right and there are different types of insulin four types let me give you an instance your patient is scheduled for Lispro, which is the rapid acting insulin for 7.30 a.m., right? Remember I told you you have to know the onset, the peak time, and the duration, right? So they are supposed to take their, their insulin at 7.30. And for Lispro, the onset is between 10 to 15 minutes, right? You want to ensure there is a meal at the bedside before taking this insulin because if you give them insulin without food, you will send them to hypoglycemia they will be hypoglycemic, right? After giving them the insulin, ensure they eat between that 10 to 15 minutes, which is the onset for Lispro, okay? Now, you go to the peak time. Peak time, like I've explained, chances of hypoglycemia. For Lispro, peak time is between 30 to 90 minutes of after administration. That is, if you give your patient insulin at 7.30, Right? Remember, you have to always check the um, blood glucose before you give them and you you monitor them and check the blood glucose after 15 minutes of administration. So if you give your patient Lispro at 7.30 and the peak time is between 30 to 90 minutes. So 30 minutes after the administration, which was 7.30, that would be 8 a.m., right? You go check the blood glucose, okay? If they are still good, there's no signs of hypoglycemia, that's good. And then, 90 minutes after, because the peak time is between 30 to 90 minutes after administration, then you count. Okay, my patient was given, it was given 7.30. Now, 90 minutes from 7.30 will be what? 9 a.m. Then at 9 a.m., you go assess your patients again. And this is when they are most likely at risk of hypoglycemia and they need to eat. And this is how NCLEX will ask you the questions like, you give your patient when your insulin at this time, when are they at risk of hypoglycemia or when else do they have to eat? So you need to know the onset, the peak time, and the duration for all the types of insulin. Okay, all right. The next time you see insulin, you're gonna ace it.